For this video, we're going to talk about number 12, Eric Miller, quarterback of Fox Lane High School, located right here on the screen. This kid has some nice physical tools at 6'2", 200 pounds, has some solid thickness to him, uh, good size, strong arm, especially when he has his feet set. He can really sling it with nice velocity and good ball placement. I also liked his toughness. Uh, you know, this kid can stand in the pocket. He took some big hits, kept coming, but not afraid to, to stand in that extra second and deliver the football. And I like that in a quarterback. He's not the most mobile guy. Uh, he can maneuver the pocket a little bit. He can run a little bit. But this is a pocket pass. Um, you know, things to work on. Obviously, decision-making is going to be a big one. Saw some ugly fumbles. Saw some ugly turnovers. And, and young quarterbacks have to realize that sometimes it's okay to throw away the football when there's pressure. It's okay to occasionally take a sack. Everything doesn't have to be extremely aggressive because that could lead to, to some turnovers. And that's something I, I know he'll definitely be working on. But let's go over a couple plays that I did like. Um, and this first one, they're 2v2. You're going to see the arm strength, especially when he has protection. We're going to focus on the right side. You're going to see this number two receiver come over the middle of the field uh, the safe, to, to hold the safety in the middle there. They're going to attack on the right post. All right? They're playing a cover three. So that's why that number two receiver keeps the safety in the middle, and we're going to del deliver on the post. Again, this is from the left hash. Okay, watch the, when he has good protection, watch him set his feet, watch him deliver a rope right here. Boom, right on that post right there. Not a flutter ball, not anything like that. Let him drive the football. Again, and it gets there in a hurry. This is a nice throw right here. Boom, right on the money. Touchdown. Okay, this is my favorite throw that I watched on tape from him. Okay, this is near the end zone. You're going to be throwing the ball from your end zone. This is going to be obviously high risk. They're going to run a fade to the right. This is one-on-one. -on -one. Watch the ball placement again. And you see signs of this. Again, when he has good protection, when he can set his feet, when he wants to know where he, where he knows he's going with the football, he can deliver some really nice ball. Look at this one right here. Boom, right on the outside shoulder. That's a big-time throw from your own end zone. Okay, again, look at him. He has his feet set, good protection up front, and he can really deliver it. He has the arm strength to hit some big uh, plays and in deep and in, in intermediate throws. And you saw that on tape. It's about the consistency. Let's go to another play. All right. And another important thing that quarterbacks have to be able to do um, and what I like that quarterbacks can do is throw people open, right? So not every time when you uh, drop back to pass is someone going to be wide open, right? You're going to have to anticipate throws. You're going to have to throw people open when it appears that they're covered. And I think the best quarterbacks can do that and do that consistently. And there was a, there are signs of that from this young man that I saw on tape. Again, this is 2v2 right here, okay? Two receivers to each side. They're going to be doing drag. So you're going to see a short drag and you see a deep drag. Uh, this is a man beater. Defense does a pretty good job initially on this route combination. Okay, you can see the drags. This is where he wants to go with the ball, but they do a pretty good job covering. Okay, covering both the short and the intermediate drag. Okay, but everyone looks covered. But this is where quarterbacks really uh, good quarterbacks can make big time plays for their offense, and that's throwing someone open. Okay, he's already cocked ready to throw. He's going for this deep drag. He's going to throw into the open space because he knows where he's going. He knows where his receiver is supposed to be. And this is what throwing open, throwing someone open means. Okay, look at the throw right here. Again, he was covered. And he still completes his pass. Okay, he knows where he's going with the ball. Look, he's cocked, ready to throw. The ball's starting to come out. Boom. Right there. That's a good job. Those are big-time plays. And that intermediate route tree, too. 10 to 20 yards. Let's go to the final play. I talked about pressure, and I talked about getting better at uh, dealing with pressure, but I did see signs. I thought I saw some good things uh, versus pressure, and you're going to see that versus this defense, okay? Trips right, single receiver to the left. The defense is going to bring pressure, okay? For them to bring pressure, they're going to be man to man. So you're going to see man across the board. They're man on the trips, man on the backside. And they're going to be man on the running back, okay? The reason why I really like this play is because he has to go to his second option. And not all the time our quarterback's going to be able to read the, the entire field, right? But you got to know where to go with the football. If your first option's taken, where is your second option? Where is your third option? Okay, and to do it with pressure, really, it takes a lot. And it's tough on a quarterback. But this is one of those plays that I thought he did a really nice job. Okay, when he initially hikes the ball, he wants to go to this running back. They know the pressure's coming. Linebacker does a pretty good job getting over on these drags on over the middle. Now, he probably could have went to the running back. I think he probably came off this read a little too soon, but he does, okay? And when he does, he has to go to another route with pressure right in his face. 
So his second round is this guy back here, okay, coming over the middle of the field. They know it's man coverage. He's got pressure right in his face. He's got to stand tough in the pocket and throw it. It's not going to be the most, you know, pretty throw, but he knows if he throws into open space, give his receiver a chance, and that's what he does. Boom. He gets hit. Look at the touch on that throw. That was nice. Again, he knows his options, and this is what you want to see more consistency of. Hikes the ball. Probably could have went there. Pressure right in his face. Stands tough and delivers a nice throw. It's a good job. Again, the tools are there. I'm really uh, excited to see how this young man builds on last year's season, see what he can improve on, and I'm excited to see it.